Hello everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix and once again I am joined with Philip. <laughs> some beast mode. Some some good Philip. <laughs> yeah. Five dollar Philip. Yeah. At KFC. <laughs> Man, I haven't had KFC in forever. Uh me neither. They got rid of the menu item that I like, the popcorn chicken for their own sort of chicken nuggets and the, it's they, it's just it's just not the same. They don't have popcorn chicken anymore? Now nah, they got rid of that. They got rid of the popcorn chicken for I'm, I'm chicken so... nuggets. What the fuck? And now, and now it's not. Now it's not like popcorn chicken. It's kind of like, you know, kind of bigger, but but they're not fried the same. They're not fried the same. They're like less breading, and it's like, you know, what the fuck is this? Oh god. So, so so, KFC probably won't be seeing me, at least until. <laughs> The end of summer until there's no other choice for getting Baja Blast than to hit up my local KFC Taco Bell. Yeah. You just have to <laughs> value customer today. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. But, uh, it's it's so over KFC Rose. Yeah. <laughs> but we are we are back for some more Wattpad reading and uh today, We are back. Yep. Indeed. Today we're gonna be reading more about uh Biakia and his uh family issues that he has. <laughs> Yeah, sibling trauma. Uh, so one of the so traumas. so relatable, so relatable, right, yeah. guys? When when your brother's gonna get thrown before you? Ooh. <laughs> so <sighs> relatable. <laughs> Golly. And all right, I don't remember jack shit from what happened last time. To be honest with you. <laughs> I do. Okay, good. Uh, I, th there's a ball coming up. That's what I know. Oh yeah, the, the ball. A ball Oh, oh no! And like, I wonder what's gonna happen. He's not picking an heir, and I believe his family said that <laughs> he gets to pick a peasant as long as she's pretty. So I don't know. I wonder who we could, wonder who he could be talking about. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> wow. Let's see. All right, uh, chapter that's, eight. That's chapter eight. Yep. All right. Very so nice. all right, hair blue, eyes purple, name Jabungrius, <laughs> last name Goldsmith. <laughs> <laughs> I might this... need to refresh my page. That way, all my shit comes out right, right? Yeah. All right. Now it's auto filled. All right. I, I should I should do that as well. I should do that as well. But but the I'm POV replacer. Up. Yeah. <laughs> it's real good. <laughs> Cause then you can if you're ever like reading like just to yourself and whatnot, you can like. <laughs> it makes it a lot own, easier. Yeah. yeah, you put in your own name and you like all that cool shit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that, I can I can see that coming in handy. All right. Well, All right. Well, well it's time let's, to uh, flip my uh, my box real quick to see who has to read first. All right. So do you, well. I, I got my necklace thing. So do you want to be the side that has the grimoire seal or the side that has the barcode? I'll go barcode. Why not? Right. Scan scan that shit. All right. Let's see. Barcode. <laughs> let's go. Your Highness, is everything all right? Would you like me to get you some books? No, thank you. I'm all right. This was going on for hours now. Jabongrius was trying to figure out what was wrong. Yakio was just staring at the wall, not even reading, just deep in thought. Lost in thought all alone. Wow. <laughs> just like Azura. <Yeah. laughs> I don't, I don't know any incidents that might have happened. So why does he seem so concerned? Looking down, she picked up the golden tray in front of her. At least he drank his tea. It was a really cold day. She didn't want him to get sick. Her hand quietly grabbed the doorknob. She couldn't really do much except bringing him more tea. Her blue hair disappeared behind the door as she walked down the giant hallways. Maybe he's getting sick. I mean, no, he doesn't look sick. He looks... Kind of curious about something, and he won't stop thinking about it. Ooh, was he thinking about us? <laughs> I, I would be thinking about myself too if I had blue hair. Yeah, if I had blue hair and pronouns, I'd be thinking about myself I, as I'd well. Be like, wow, wow! I'm, I'm a blue hair ZZM, and I'm <coughs> and I'm I'm doing wonderful right now. Wow! I, I could only be doing more wonderful if I was in Prince Biakia's arms. I mean, whoa! I can't be getting those nasty thoughts. 
Is it, uh, your go? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I was <laughs> laughing. <laughs> <laughs> she stopped suddenly at the thought across her mind. Wait, what if Prince Biakia fell in love and couldn't stop thinking about that person? The weird feeling from days ago came back. It wasn't love or, curious, or curiosity. It was pure and absolute jealousy. We are jealous! Oh, We're in love! God. Holy shit. Let's go! The female servant couldn't believe it herself, but just the thought of the blonde prince marrying a beautiful girl made her blood boil. What am I thinking? I'm a servant! <laughs> I don't have the right to be jealous of my heir. And yet she still managed to keep to her priority. Work. I don't know how. <laughs> uh, I, I, how? Uh, Jabungrius. <laughs> My, minor, minor issue goes on. I can't stop thinking about it. Yep. Especially if I'm at work. Yeah. Jabungrius quickly rushed into the kitchen, preparing the tea and rushing back. I'm sorry for taking so long, your highness. She apologized and went through... Her apology went through one ear and exit the other. He wasn't listening at all. He didn't even look at her. Not even when she put the tray right in front of him. Damn, <laughs> did we do something wrong? <laughs> About to find out. Yeah, he's like Deciding... this bitch again. <laughs> <laughs> Deciding that it was enough, she gently tapped his shoulder. His eyes snapped towards her. What do you want? <laughs> While she spoke, his eyes traveled down her body, making sure not to miss out on any detail that her clothing, hair, or eyes had. He is Your Highness, <laughs> are you listening to me? He nodded. Then what did I just say right now? She crossed her arms, giving him a skeptical look. Yaki aside. Fine. I didn't listen to one word you said. Now leave me alone. His eyes remained on her figure, his thoughts wandering somewhere else again. Hmm. It oh, awkward silence. An awkward silence made its way over them, as both of them didn't even dare to speak to each other. Though, the blue-haired female knew that he had something to say, something really important so, to get off his chest. His eyes were slightly narrowed, his lips pressed together slightly, and pushed. he just pushed his glasses up, sitting up. Let me ask you something, Shabungrius. <laughs> <laughs> He gets our name wrong for the fifth time, but I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. His tone was more serious than she expected it, and she could feel a chill run down her spine. Of course, your highness, what is it? Is something bothering you? She came closer to him, stopping right beside him. But what happened next caught her completely off guard. We just get like punched. <laughs> <laughs> Domestic abuse. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what happened, yep. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit, we're... The, the blonde prince reached out and grabbed her arm, pulling her towards him. Their faces only inches away. His blue eyes studied her face. She was completely shocked, confused, and curious about what was going to happen next. Your Highness? <laughs> <laughs> he slowly began to pull her closer even more. Not once left his eyes her- wait. Not once left his eyes her face. Yep. <laughs> I read yep. that right! Okay, hey. I mean... Hey, if they think that it. was right, then I'll- hey, 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 this, this is- this is real English. This yeah. is real English right now. <laughs> Didn't you have something you wanted to ask me, your highness? The blonde stopped pulling her closer and their nose began to touch slightly. Jabungrius, would you like to enter the royal family? Oh my god, we oh, are about to make happening. a royalty! It's <laughs> happening! We, we left off at, like, the right time. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, my god. We did. This, this is gonna be good. I can feel it. <laughs> so real. So real. Her eyes widened and her heart began to beat really fast. There was no way that this could be a serious question to her. Why would he ask something like that? Why would he ask a servant something like that? Her head felt slightly dizzy from this overwhelming moment. Did you hear me? I asked you a question. She came back to her senses, blushing when she noticed that her nose was still touching his. Ooh. <clears throat> Entering. <laughs> Entering the royal family? Your Highness? What kind of question is that? She was genuinely confused. Her purple eyes staring at him widened. Ooh. <laughs> mm. It's, it's about to go down, it's about to go down. Yeah. 
As you know, my parents keep urging me to get a wife. They're so desperate. They will even allow me to marry a lowly peasant. My problem is that I would never marry anyone I don't oh, know all too well. That's why I'm asking you to help me. Oh, oh proposition my Proposition for marriage, okay? Okay, are we gonna- is this gonna be like one of those things where we just like, we like, get married for like some kind of just to get shit off our back, but then we fall in love? This is gonna be good! <laughs> yes! Yes. That, that, would, that would be- that would be Kino. That would be Kino. How can I help? Wait, you aren't asking me to- That's exactly what I'm asking for. <laughs> <laughs> it's... Need. He's like, you, yep. Wife. <laughs> 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 his face in, in, even closer to hers, his breath hitting his her lips. You're the only person that isn't annoying all the time. Not to mention, you're also quite beautiful. Yeah, he likes that blue hair and <laughs> pronouns. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, yes, he does. Yes, he does. Who wouldn't? Of course. <laughs> beautiful? Are you just messing with me right now, your highness? I, I really need to get back to work. A soft, almost teasing <laughs> chuckle left his lips. You have to get back to work, even though you're my personal servant. That's one of the worst lies I've ever heard. <laughs> 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 shit. How did it, how did, he stole my through me. Holy shit. <laughs> a small silence uh, laid over them, and he silently pushed her back a bit, holding one of her hands gently. If you won't accept it like this, I might have to do it formally. Yeah, he had gone one knee right in front of her. <laughs> Please help me out by marrying me, Jabungrius. <laughs> Let's go. It happened. It fucking happened. Yeah, so you, 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 cue the music. Sound put, the wedding bells. <laughs> put like I don't fucking know. September by uh, <clears throat> Earth, Wind, and Fire. E edit that right now. I think that's yeah, how yeah, I that's get copyright claim to be. <laughs> Uh, yeah, 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 uh, uh, <clears throat> balls. <clears throat> How am I supposed to respond now? I just did. Of course, I wouldn't want anyone, <clears throat> want my heir to marry anyone that only wants to be a royal, but would I be a good queen? I'm not familiar with any of this. I want to be able to adapt as fast as needed. To, Small gulp. What's to up? be fair, from what <laughs> I've learned from, like, British, um, royalty, like, <laughs> He's the immediate heir, so if he takes the throne, he'd be king. If we marry him, we're only <clears throat> level as a princess. We don't become queen. Exactly. So, yeah. like, yeah, it's his responsibility. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think there's plenty of time to adapt. She, she's, she's got this. She's got this. Yeah. Small gulp. The blue-haired female looked at her heir. May I receive some? May I receive <laughs> some time to think about it? Ah, oh, yes. Love this formal formal dialogue. This is a really big request. I want to think it through. He thought for a moment. Fine. You have three days to make your decision. Three days? Because... Because Majora's Mask, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> why only three days? This is a really important and big decision to make. Why? Because if I don't find a bride in four days, my parents will arrange a marriage. I need your answer before that. His voice had become cold, making a shiver run down her spine. <laughs> Dude, I know what my answer is. It's yes. <laughs> I want to marry royalty. <laughs> exactly. Especially if it's Biaki. I mean, what? Dude, I mean, <laughs> how would I say that? No, don't, don't worry. Same reason. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Then Jabungus wasn't sure what to say. Her answer, she should be saying yes, mm -hmm. but anyway... <laughs> Her heir just proposed to her. That made her heart fuck. Didn't it wasn't like the last chapter. She's like, the thought of him marrying someone else made me completely jealous. She has the but, opportunity but, on a silver platter. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Come on, what is MC doing? Yes, Chabungrius, get your shit together. <laughs> <laughs> it made her heart flatter. How could, how he called her beautiful, telling her how she wasn't annoying to him. Unlike everyone else, it made her feel very special. Very special. <laughs> but wasn't the marriage a bit too sudden? No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. 
What would his parents think? Not only would he be marrying his own servant, he would be marrying a servant that never really shown much interest in. After all, the two of them were barely friends, didn't really know each other, and never made an effort to get to know each other. Walking out of the prince's room, she left him behind. I really do hope that she says yes. I don't want to marry anyone else. I, at least, know that I can trust her. She's a trustworthy person. Leaning back, Byakuya closed his eyes, letting out a deep sigh. <sighs> We're gonna get into the good shit. Real, real, and I, I was gonna say too that, uh, that, that the fact they barely know each other that well, I mean, that, that, that's all the more reason. Yeah, how that's, long has she oh been a servant God. for again? I was about to say, that's all the more reason for her to become the Rizzler, but, uh, <laughs> I, I see that the comments have beat me to it, thank you. <laughs> Wait, did they actually? Yes. Wait, in the last, in the last chapter? Yeah, uh, we Wait, have where is it? Cut in for KU Simps. Oh, oh, I see uh, it now. I see and it. And Skyler1509. <laughs> uh, shout out to both of you. Uh, yeah. I don't know about y'all, but that's just straight up Riz right there. Yeah. And the ultimate Rizzler. <laughs> that's. I, I'm not going to play Dogger Rap before. Let's. The ultimate Rizzlers of the game. Yeah. I, that's what I need. I need someone to make an OC <laughs> of. Of uh, a dangy romp <laughs> character, and, and it's just the ultimate Rizzler. <laughs> we call him Teru Teru Hanamura. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's sad? You know what's real mm -hmm. fucking sad? He's my what's favorite up? character in Dangy <laughs> Rampa 2, and I really do like him. <laughs> it, you would probably be cancelled for that take anywhere else, but you know what? I respect Terra Terra. I oh, like yeah. him. I like him. If I, had a, if I had a nickel for every time <laughs> I've fallen in love with a perverted cook, I would have two nickels. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it <laughs> happened twice. It's, yes, exactly, exactly. Thank you, Doofenshmirtz. Yeah, do, you know, <laughs> do you know who else I'm referring to? <laughs> I, I actually don't know who the other one is. I, I, could it be IRL? No, no, it's not IRL. It's an actual fan fiction character. It's um oh, Lord. for for fan like a fan fiction boy that is really good at cooking. That is com that is a complete pervert. It's Terra Terra Hanamura and then Sanji from One Piece. Real? Oh, oh okay, yeah. I, I'm sad. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why you dressed up as them. Yep. <laughs> but that's okay. That's why I dressed up as K-Angel, because I like mentally ill women who are uh, terminally online. I mean, what? That's not That's not uh, what I just said. The, the breeze is really strong today, wow. Yeah. <laughs> is it- do I read? No, you read. Yeah, because I finished. <clears throat> yeah, I'm so smart. <laughs> more, <laughs> more than just distressed, the blue-haired servant sat in the royal garden, looking at some chattering girls who were picking up some flowers. Winter would fall over the kingdom soon, so this was one of the last chances to see wild plants growing on the ground. Marriage? I never thought about marrying anyone, mostly because I was busy with work. But still, even if it's okay for Prince Biakia, how would the peasant, the other peasants, look at me? Wow, she's already how calling them peasants. <laughs> <laughs> she's ready. I mean, I mean they are. <laughs> How would they react to having a servant as their new queen? Maybe even Empress. Oh, don't go that far. Accept me. Uh, let's go that far. Let's go. <laughs> Is everything all right, Jabongrius? You shouldn't sit outside for too long. It's really cold today, voice suddenly said. Female's head slowly turned upward, her eyes widening as she saw who it was. It was, in fact, one of Biakia's siblings. A beautiful blonde girl with blue eyes. Damn. They all have blonde <laughs> hair, blue eyes. <laughs> wow. I wonder what this reminds me of. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I don't know the rest of the lyrics. Me either. Don't, don't worry. <clears throat> she looks like the female version of Princess Bia- Oh, sorry, Prince Biakia. Not Princess. <laughs> well, why does she know my name? And what does she talk about? thing to me. I'm just a servant. Greetings, your highness. Jamungrius stood up, bowing to the female. I'm fine out here, but thank you for your concern, your highness. That's good. After all, you're my brother's servant. One wants you to get sick. Her red lips formed to a sickening sweet smile. 
But it's also good that we met out here. May I invite you to a cup of tea in my room? Chavungarus was baffled. <laughs> Are we gonna get fucking, like, slapped? <laughs> I feel like there's ulterior motives with this. I, I, I do too, but I feel like it's the exact same as Biakia. She's gonna be like, please, please get my helpless brother uh, into marriage. Yeah, <laughs> watch it be that. Just, just a bunch, like the heirs and the our soon-to-be husband just begging <laughs> to press to marry him. <laughs> like, dear God, you're the only, you're the only woman, only person this person even associates with. Please do us all a favor. Take it. Yeah, it's on, it's on a silver platter for you. <laughs> Did I hear that right? Why is she being so nice to me? I thought the siblings hate each other more than anything. Don't worry, I won't tell my brother about it. It doesn't matter if you're his servant. I'm still inviting you to have a friendly chat with me. If we're gonna get shanked, I can I could sense it. <laughs> oh, no. oh no. I guess I can't decline your request, your highness. Thank you for the generous invite. I feel honored. Making sure that there was no dirt on her uniform. Blue haired servant tried as to be as friendly as possible, and it was working. I just seemed pleased. Great. Please follow me into the castle then. We will warm you up we will warm you up with some warm tea and some cake. Though she felt suspicious. She still followed the blonde girl into the building, fiddling with her hands quietly. I wonder what she wants to talk about. I'm sure it'll be nothing important. Yeah, uh, right. I, I, I'm sure. I'm sure. Foreshadowing. Though she was used to seeing a luxurious room every day, Jabangri still couldn't help but admire the princess's room for a second. I guess there's still a big difference between a prince and a princess. You're about to find out. <laughs> a servant mentioned her to take a seat at a small window by the table. Actually... There is a reason why I invited you to chat with me here. A small laugh left the princess's mouth while her tea was being served. <laughs> and that reason is your highness? Brushing her hair over her shoulder, said said princess, wait, said princess let out a, a sigh. To be honest with you, I'm worried to death. My brother Biakia still hasn't found a bride. Oh my god, they are! They're gonna be like, please! Yep. <laughs> It's funny how I could go uh, see where exactly where this was going. <laughs> <laughs> All of us already found someone for the ball. You know, the ball that decides who will be the next king or queen. M maybe even empress. Emperor, empress or emperor? Do you understand my concern? <laughs> Slowly, Jabungrius nodded, leaning back slightly. But I thought you hated Prince Biakia. Why would you be so concerned about him? Letting out another sigh, the royal leaned forward. We're still siblings. Also, my question is rather simple. So, so you would be able to answer it. Is Biakia planning on marrying a servant? <laughs> Fuck! She knows! She knows! She knows. Oh no. Oh no. No, we're gonna get, yep, we're gonna get shanked. We're dead. <laughs> oh we're no. Gonna, we're gonna get one tat by the AK in a <laughs> match on Dust 2. Yeah, we're gonna say yes, and she's gonna be like, all right, hold on one second, take the shot. <laughs> <laughs> Marrying a servant? I'm sorry, your highness, but this is nonsense. Why would Prince Biakia marry a mere servant? His standards are just really high. That's why he hasn't found a candidate for marriage yet. Please refrain from making such private questions ever again. This only concerns his highness, Prince Biakia. She didn't know why, but she felt like she had to stand up to her. Even if the other, the female in the front of her, was a princess, she was still just a mere servant. Oh my, I didn't think you would get this upset about it. But why are you screaming at me? Damn. Taking a handkerchief, the princess began to wipe some of the non-existent tears away. I'm really saddened that you would shout at me like this. Even when I invited you to have a friendly chat with me, you know? I think you're really nice. I wouldn't want to execute you. <laughs> oh no. Not again. With we're, the we're, execution. We're, we're seeing exactly where this is going. They are gonna play Dust 2. Damn it. <laughs> and I wanted to play Vertigo. Fuck. <laughs> but I thought only the King and Queen can execute people. Also, I'm the servant of a royal. 
can another princess just execute me? <laughs> we, we just start having a panic. I would have a panic attack if someone just said they would execute me. Don't blame you. Yeah. <laughs> Although it probably wasn't even possible, Tremonger is still felt uneasy. Not because of death of execution, but from the sudden switch of the princess. Are you sure? I feel like I would be worried about the execution. <laughs> Imminent death. Imminent <Yeah>. death. <laughs> Your Highness, I don't think that's this is a really good reason to execute me. <laughs> Especially since... Your, your, your Honor, I don't really think this is a good reason to execute me. Yeah. I know my client, I know my client has 27 counts of illegal fishing, three wire fraud charges, and two, uh, 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 un unsavory, uh, pornography, uh, okay. charges on, on his, uh, on his case. However, this isn't a really good reason to put him to uh, the electric chair. Yeah, <laughs> I know I have a uh, three unpaid <laughs> parking passes, like unpaid parking <laughs> tickets, but you don't have to throw me in the electric chair. I'm just, I'll just pay them. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> uh, well, what's Shit. that? D what's it? What does DWI stand for? Uh, 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 um, uh, uh. <laughs> Do you see a DWI like a? Oh, I forgot the actual. Driving, yeah. Driving while intoxicated. That's it. I forgot it myself. <laughs> <laughs> Especially since you probably understand how little Prince Biakia wants other people to know about his private life. If he wants to marry a servant, so be it. But that's none of your concern. I think the princess is gonna know after this that he asked. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he knows. He yeah. knows. With that, He's got cameras. Yeah. <laughs> It's like a, one of those episodes, like, hi, hey, oh, f I forgot the name of the host. He's like, we're on an episode of What Would You Do? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he, he's, he's L from Death Note in that one episode. <laughs> That's what's going on. Yeah. With that, the blue-haired female bowed, turning around to leave the room. Wait! <laughs> the, blonde -haired, <laughs> the blonde princess stood up, dusting off her dress. Based on your reaction, everything was true then, right? Man, my brother is planning on marrying you. Wow, Chibungrius, you did a great job hiding that. <laughs> <laughs> Her words felt made Chibungrius freeze for a second. Is, is it my go? Yeah, yeah, I believe so. <clears throat> no, that's not true. Was all the servant had to say for hurrying out of the luxurious room. I had to tell Prince Viaki about this, she whispered to herself. Tell me about what? An icy cold voice suddenly said. It was like a cartoon. Yeah. Jabari selected up. It seemed like he had just returned from somewhere. <laughs> At least she thought so. Since seeing him dressed in much more fancy clothes than usual. Your Highness, welcome back. Quickly bowing, she let out a sigh of relief. I have something very important to tell you. <laughs> Do you have a few minutes to spare? Biakia looked at the knights behind him. That's it for today. You're dismissed. The men quickly scrambled away, leaving them alone in a matter of seconds. Maybe we should discuss this in my room. It seems to be a lot more important for you to demand me around. Damn. A little embarrassed, <laughs> her cheeks flushed. <laughs> I gotta take a sip of my water. I, I don't know why. Here we go. I don't know why I found those last parts funny. I, I, just, I, I just, just, no. It, it was a very funny <laughs> few paragraphs. Yeah, no, it's fine. I thought it was funny. <laughs> I, I, my brain went somewhere else with those sentences. <laughs> yeah, I, I was trying to read them as like you know straight and you know quote unquote in character as possible, but it just wasn't working. <laughs> no, it's fine. It makes it funnier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I apologize, but it's really important. Shrugging slightly, the prince began to walk, grabbing her wrist and dragging her behind him. Whatever it is, you have to hurry up. I still have things to take care of. After all, the ball is coming up. Jabrungrius looked up at him and nodded. <laughs> While they walked, the blue hair female noticed something. The harsh grip of her wrist began to loosen, slowly and carefully. Maybe the prince didn't even notice. At his grip loosening completely, his hand slipped down, intertwining his hand with the fingers with hers! He's in love! <laughs> Whoa. Woo! Damn! I need a fan in here! <laughs> <laughs> First we got the water, now it's a fan. Jeez yeah. Louise. 
It's like we're exercising. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this feels really nice. The servant couldn't help but stare at their hands as they walked, almost tripping over her own feet. I just remembered... Didn't... Did you think about what we talked about? His voice ripped ripped her out of her little uh, her small trance as she nodded without even thinking about it. Yes, I did. Is she gonna I, say I yes? Just wanna she say, has. To. <laughs> just want to say, did I? Did you think about what we talked about? I feel like that could be just re. It, I'm, I'm as someone who does a little bit of writing themselves. It, it, it it's like little things like this that that just uh, kind of set me off. In my head, mm -hmm. it's like ugh, there's just so much better you could do. So much better. Did oh, he, spoiler he... alert from the comments. <laughs> Justice for that vase. <laughs> Hashtag. What vase? <laughs> We're about to find out. Oh shit! Is the vase gonna get broken? <laughs> That's how you know shit's getting serious. No, not the family vase. <laughs> That's good. I was worried you wouldn't give me an an. I was worried you wouldn't give me an answer. So, as soon as he entered, they entered the room and shut the door behind them. He took off his heavy coat. Blue-haired female couldn't help but stare at him, even if she didn't want to be rude. You know, staring very rude. She should know this. Yeah. <laughs> bad servant. Bad. Bad <laughs> fucking servant. Awful servant. To death. <laughs> <laughs> I. I know that it, I may just be a servant, a peasant, and I know that people wouldn't accept me as their queen, maybe even empress, but your sister somehow found a way, found out about your proposal that you made towards me. She knows everything, I think. All of that new information caught the prince off guard as he sat down on his bed, gesturing her to sit with him. I see. <laughs> how do you know? How do you know that? With a small wave of nervousness coming over, over her, Chibangri sculpted down the worries about everything that was happening. Oh, she's gonna out herself and be like, "How fucking yep. dare you!" <laughs> <laughs> nice. Her highness suddenly approached me while I was sitting in the royal garden. She invited me for a cup of tea with her, wanting to have a friendly chat with me. At first, she just wanted. She talked about her being worried about you, and Biakia's anger cut her off. Not the face! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Hashtag justice for that vase. It's no. good trending. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> justice for the vase. <laughs> the beautiful golden vase on the table beside Naya's bed was suddenly knocked down. Worried about me? She wants to take the throne away from me so bad. How dare she say anything like that to my personal servant? I won't let her take the crown. Never in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Execute her. <laughs> <laughs> the sudden anger of the prince made her jump. Her back pressed against the wall beside the beside the bed that she was sitting on. Two hands then surprised her by oh, wait. Two hands then surprised her by placing themselves on each side. Each one on her side, they were the princess's hands to be exact. What else did she say? <laughs> <laughs> so just start shaking them. Yeah. What did they say to you? Yeah, we're gonna what get a What did they say? Yeah, it shakes violently. <laughs> Let's see. Her purple eyes widened in shock. Their noses almost touching from how he was leaning in, even if it was just in anger and pure curiosity about her sister's words. Tell me everything she said right now. This is an order as your future ruler. Oh no. She must really, really be upset. You think so? How do you calm down an angry prince who knocked over a vase which is shard which which shards are worth more than a small house? <laughs> I doubt I can do anything for him right now, but I should at least try to. Your Highness, please calm down. Anger won't help our situation right now, nor will it make you feel better. Look at you being all rational. Yay. Shut up. Go go wouldn't, bug it, <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't it be better if we use this private time to discuss the marriage? Because, uh, 
I, I decided to accept your proposal. Yay! I want to marry you and be your queen. Yeah, finally, you make the fucking decision. Let's, yeah, let's go. Let's yeah, go. while he's angry at you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> finally. Why are you suddenly talking so much? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. <laughs> Yeah, you're supposed to be yes, yes sir, or no sir. That's, that's all you're programmed to say. <laughs> Although she didn't notice, the prince's cheeks... The prince's cheeks flushed a bit red as he leaned close. Her nose... Their noses slightly touching each other. Your highness, you're really getting close to me right now. He, she explained, the color of her cheeks now matching his. Maybe hers a bit darker, though. <laughs> <coughs> Am I? You're just imagining things, aren't you? Wow, he's gaslighting us now. He is the perfect husband. <laughs> Thank God, the perfect male. Yep. I mean, what? Her, his words made her slightly upset, although her anger was covered by embarrassment. Visible embarrassment. And why are your cheeks getting so red? I thought I told you that we were only marrying for the benefit of it. <laughs> she nodded slowly. Yes, your highness, you definitely said that. I didn't mean to make it look like anything inappropriate. I just... Her sentence was cut off by a pair of lips on hers. The prince was kissing her. Was this a dream? Could it be real, right? Yeah, it could, and it was. Let's go. Justice for the vase. No, the... the... Just, justice for the vase, but you know what? We, I we got what we wanted. I love we this one comment. I love this one comment that just says what happened to consent. <laughs> What happened to consent? Uh, out the window. Wow. Wow. Where did consent go, I say, as the, the person who uh, who accepted a proposal <laughs> gets kissed by someone else? Yeah. I, I, I'm, just, I'm just saying, dog. I'm just saying. Now. Consent is dead. No, not in this story. Not in this story. <laughs> this... This is not- this is not your non-confic. Alright, so next chapter we got new- new, uh, things to add. Mm -hmm. Uh, skin color and favorite color. What, what color is Jabungrius? It has to come to skin color. Yeah. Yeah, it asks for skin color and favorite color. So, wh what are we doing with well. Jabungrius? I was thinking, uh, something on the ebony side. Let's go brown. Yeah, I was just thinking brown. I'm like, yeah, the brown would match the the, the, the blue yeah. there. All right, what's your favorite color? I said it in the first episode, the, the first thing we did. Oh, shit, what was it? <laughs> to, to, quote, to quote SpongeBob, purple is my favorite color. Okay, purple. <laughs> The first thing I thought of when you said purple right there from Spongebob, I was like, that quote was like, we're gonna yeah, party too, we're purple! It's, it's, it's I'm not being purple! Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking happening. Alright. It's, it's my go, isn't it? Yeah. Lady Jabongrius, your brown skin fits this purple dress so well. Your beauty is outstanding. It was weird. Everything had been weird since the day that she kissed the princess. <laughs> Suddenly, as soon as he declared her his future wife, the other servants began to treat her vastly different. Now, some of them would address her with lady instead of just her name. They would even offer to do her work for her, because even though she had a slightly higher position now, she was still a servant. She insisted on not wanting to be lazy. How long will this continue? I hate it. I'm still almost a normal servant. I made to be the prince's fiance, but I had to do my work never nevertheless. Mm. That thought in her mind, the purple the diligent purple hair blue haired female picked up the tray with two cups of tea on it. Wow, they're still making her do servant things while being engaged. I, I, I mean, to be fair, they're offering to do it, but but she she What can I say? What can I say? She's on that grind. She's on that grind. Not only is she the Rizzler. But she's a grinder too. <laughs> yeah, don't, I mean, don't don't look too deep into. Uh, don't look too deep into the that. other thing. Yeah, yeah, don't look too deep into that. <laughs> the prince had asked her to bring a cup of tea for herself too. He wanted to spend a bit more time with her. Thank, that's nice of him. Yeah. <laughs> to treat his 
uh, future wife like a like a wife and wanted to spend time with her instead of like a servant. <laughs> crazy, right? Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> I wonder if it's just to get to know each other better. And then again, her thoughts wandered off to when they had kissed. What if Prince Biakia wants to spend more time with me in private? Oh my god, like, really private? <laughs> Not like, servant and prince as lovers, could that be it? Girl, you're thinking way too deep into this. I don't- Was this mature? I don't- I, No, it's fine if it was mature. I'm, I'm down for this ride. If <laughs> it happens! <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh shit, could it be- A smile made it, a, its way on her face. It would be nice. I would love so many questions I would want to ask him. Understandable. After Byakuya had pulled away from the kiss that day, his only reaction was a small smile before he acted like nothing ever happened. Damn. <laughs> Byakuya moment. <Yeah. laughs> Big Byakuya moment! <laughs> Can I even it's call It's not like I'm in love with you or anything. Gosh. God, he is a cindere, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Can I even call us lovers then? What if he doesn't see me as his fiance, but somehow as some sort of business partners? <laughs> Let's see. Ah, there you are, Chipangrius. Her movement stopped entirely for a second. Even her breath stopped. I was looking everywhere for my brother's favorite servant. <clears throat> the blonde princess hurried over to her, a servant running behind her, gasping for breath. her breath. As he began to slow down. <clears throat> ah, princess, what is it? I may not like her. She seems nicer than all of his other siblings. And she's a royal, so I have to be nice to her. I came to ask how you were doing. After all, all these false rumors are spreading around the castle. What a shame. Rumors? No false rumors. Tilting her head to the tilting her head to the slightly. Tilting her head to the side slightly. Jabongrius gave the princess a questioning look. What do you mean by false rumors? Did you hear anything unpleasant about me? The blonde took one of the cups that held the tray. The tray held. Just taking a sip from it. Wow. Mm. <laughs> She's drinking our this shit! Is getting, this is getting kind of juicy. Oh no. Drama going on. Is it, is it gonna be like I heard a rumor that happen. you're gonna marry my brother? That's crazy, right? And we're like, well, that's, actually, that's crazy. <laughs> well, actually, yeah. it, it, it's complicated. Yeah. Ah, Don't ah. worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> she, she may be a princess, but why would she just drink a stranger's cup? Taking a deep. <laughs> yeah, she just took her drink and drank it. What the fuck? <laughs> What can I say? Uh, it's all the same blood, right? Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Taking a deep breath, the servant looked at the blonde once again. Oh, did my brother not tell you that he invited me for some tea under siblings? Her uh, purple eyes widened in confusion. But Prince Byakia told me he wanted to spend time with me. Who of them is lying to me right now? It has to be the princess, right? Her thoughts were racing as the blonde spoke up once again. You know, the rumors about you... Your and my brother's marriage. Oh my god! <laughs> it is! She's like, can you believe that shit? Can, can you believe that? That's silly talk. I'm like, uh, mm. uh, I, who was spreading this around the castle? By the way, commenter, I literally hate you, eat glass, and die. Thank you. So mean. So mean. <laughs> I. Uh, Jabungarius began, but was cut off rather quickly. Really? I mean, how dare these dirty servants say something like that when everyone knows that my brother will never marry a commoner? This is frustrating. <laughs> Wiping away an imaginary tear, the princess turned around. I will make sure to clear these rumors out. Don't worry. Oh no! She's I'll gonna kill sure us! To I'll make sure to clear these rumors up. Yeah, we're gonna get fucking marries, them, marries them. Just, just, just marries them. That'll put an end to the rumors. Because then everyone knows. Everyone yeah. knows. They're marrying me! They're marrying me! <laughs> Trembling slightly, the blue-haired servant couldn't help but get angry at herself, at Byakia and her sister. So he invited his sister, and not me. Why did he lie into my face like that? He could have just told me who the second cup was for. Then again, slowly sliding into her own thoughts, she picked up the empty cup. Looking at the red lipstick 
that was now staining the white and golden porcelain. What if he really did invite me, and the princess is just trying to mess up everything up so he won't succeed? Every, even though she knew that the blonde prince, her soon-to-be husband, wouldn't do anything like that. Jabangrius couldn't help but worry about it. I'm his fiance now. I shouldn't question it like this. I'm sure of it. His sister tried to mess with our marriage to become empress herself. Oh! The scandal! God, to kill her! Yeah, execution! Scandal. <laughs> the, 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 the equivalent of tabloids in whatever time this may be would go crazy right now. Holy shit. Free yeah. money. Yeah, the newspaper's gonna is go it, fucking bonkers uh, with these news stories. Journalism has gone insane. Yeah, the, the the title of like when the like when the tabloids like Prince Viakia marries a peasant Exciting <laughs> <laughs> <Find>, show and <laughs> Find out on page three. Yeah <laughs> it would be like that. It's like here is photo evidence of uh him holding hands with this blue hair with pronouns. <laughs> They're getting to the carousel with each other. Huh. <laughs> What's next? The bedroom? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to keep a positive mind, the female servant walked back into the kitchen to replace the cup that got emptied by the princess. As she stepped into the big warm room, other servants began to talk about her and her new fiancé. Can you believe it? A servant in the royal? We're in I'm some of these girls... I'm we're the talk of the town, dog. Let's go. We're on some of these bitches in the garden. They're like, maybe we have a chance. And then when I get it, they're like, can you believe this shit? <laughs> wow. Know, right? Her hand tight, tightly clenched the used cup. Why can't people just mind their own business? It's no secret that they're jealous. Prince Biakia was one of the most handsome royals in this big family. Turning around, Jabungrius decided to approach one of the chattering servants. Since it seems like you have nothing to do right now, please do me a favor and take care of this used cup. She knew that she had embarrassed a servant in front of everyone like that, but she could care less at that exact moment. <laughs> <clears throat> Who do you think you are? Just because I have enough because you have an affair with the prince doesn't mean you're any better than any of us servants. <laughs> Shaking her head. The blue-haired female began to pour some tea into a new cup, carefully putting on the matching tray. Is that so? It wouldn't be that bad to give a servant a little scare, right? You know. Before she could even continue her sentence, someone cleared their throat, making everyone's eyes turn toward the door of the kitchen. I don't think this is how you should be treating your future queen and maybe even empress. Jabangrius couldn't believe who was standing right there. The king himself. I thought the king and queen don't support children until they succeed. And why would the king himself scold servants just because they were chattering about another servant? Was it because Biakia was one of their favorite children? Probably. <laughs> Favoritism Good. in this family. Can you believe it? <laughs> Good, thing. Good thing to think about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Greetings, your majesty. The blue-haired girl bowed to the blonde man. Please, don't bow to me like that. You're going to be marrying my son, aren't you? Slowly, she nodded her head and began to get a bad feeling about this whole situation. Got a bad feeling about this. We're gonna get locked in the dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> so, I saw my son with someone else this morning. What did he just say? What does... What does that... Uh, fuck. What else does that make me feel so extremely angry and jealous? Because it's she wife. Loved, yeah, because she loved you. <laughs> <laughs> but no one needed to know that, which is why Jamungrius just tilted her head to the side of it. Why is that a problem, your majesty? His eyes widened slightly. He didn't expect such a response, especially since she was just a servant, who normally would be shocked that her chances of a better life is at risk. Prince Viakia is just marrying me for business purposes. I think you should know that, your magic- Oh, why would you tell him that? <laughs> <laughs> We're dead. <laughs> Moron. Moron. You really think he's gonna let you marry his son now? <laughs> one, one day ago. Oh. Period. Thank you, Cotton4k, you simps. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, well then, knife emoji. Y'all are simps. You're gonna notice a pattern people that use Wattpad. 
My father said, what? And you responded with what? My, and my sister said, what? Byakia looked at... Looked like his head was going to explode while Jabangrius calmly drank her tea. Oopsie, did I say something wrong? I mean, giving him some time to calm down before she spoke again. That's what happened, your highness. I'm telling the truth. Why did you say that to my father? He could have executed you for that. And why did you come straight to my room when my sister said these things? Jabangrius put the cup down. Because I had to get another cup of tea, or two. I ordered two to drink tea with you, not with her. And I'm not involved with another female individual. Gosh, I, <laughs> gosh, I hate this family. <laughs> Letting out a groan, the prince suddenly seemed more than just exhausted. <laughs> you think, all oh, this, while I have to plan my proposal and the dancing, the dancing. <laughs> The, da the dance. He is. <laughs> I would piss too if someone just told my father that. We can get me executed. I mean, to be fair, you, if you're gonna be like this, you gotta be like hush hush, right? Come on. Yeah, you this can't is, just be this like. Kind on Biakia. This is kind of on him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jabungus is just stupid. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't doubt it. He looked at her, his icy blue orbs piercing into hers. Do you know how to dance? Will you- <laughs> you will have to do that a lot as my future wife. Her cheeks flushed a light red. It sounds nice to be called that by him. I wonder if he'll maybe- Yes, I know how to dance. I'm actually quite good at it. She said before she could finish her thought. Good. That would make- <laughs> Now that we can discuss that, I need to talk to you about something very important. His voice was serious and he's, as he spoke, making a nervous feeling wander through her body. Something important? Is it about the ball or anything I have to do for you? The Bond Prince leaned back as he shook his head. It's nothing like that. It regards our private relationship. Her eyes widened as her beep, heartbeat began to speed up drastically. Our private relationship? Mm hmm, girl. <laughs> yep. Yes, officially you're known as my fiancé that will marry, so I can succeed in becoming the next king. But I honestly don't think that I like that title. Took a sip of his tea, which appeared to be cold already. At least, that's what his disgusted expression looked like. What do you mean by that? Byakia stood up, dusting off his suit as he walked over to her chair, placing his hands on her shoulders from behind him. I don't like that people talk about us like this. After all, I'm not only marrying you because of that. Oh shit! <laughs> he finally. Hey, that's the reason. That's the reason. Okay, okay. At this rate, Jabangris was not sure that her heart was going to beat out of her own chest. He's not marrying me just because of the title? Could that mean. J Your Highness, I don't understand what you could mean by that. What else are you hoping to get out of this marriage? Ooh, Take a wild guess. I could guess several things, but I think the one thing they mean is love. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> His hand. No, no, no. She, she, he, he loves you. He loves you for that leopard print purse that you have. Yeah. <laughs> Do we even have that? <laughs> <laughs> His hands travel down her to her arms, gently squeezing them. Of course, the title is one of the most important things in my life. After all, I'm a prince, and just because I'm a royal doesn't mean I don't do some things like commoners do them. He's doing this on purpose, isn't he? <laughs> he's just stretching this conversation out as much as possible. Suddenly, the prince grabbed her wrist, pulling her up to her feet. His arms wrapped around her waist. Commoners marry because of love, don't they? that That's what I'm doing, too. I'm marrying out of love. Love your highness? D did I hear that right? And we're like, hey, can you speak a little louder into this year? I'm a little hard of hearing. <laughs> his nose touched her slightly as he leaned forward. A small spark made his way on his lips as he noticed how red her face has gotten. Yes, love. I'm marrying you because I love you, Chabungrius Goldsmith. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it, it finally comes out, but the, the, the beans have been spilled. Yes! <laughs> you... You... Love me? Her voice was quiet, trembling slightly. Her heart was beating so fast, she thought it could burst out of her chest at any second. I don't like repeating myself, but yes, you heard that right. I'm in love with you. My heart belongs <laughs> to you, my dear servant. Let's go! Let her go. <laughs> kneeling down as he took her hand and gave it a gentle kiss. Why else would I be kneeling on the floor right now, especially since I'm a royal and you're a commoner? I won't do this for anyone else, no matter what their title might be. Damn. <laughs> right. <laughs> Jabangris couldn't help but agree with that. Byakia was someone who valued their pride more than anything. He won't just kneel onto the ground for anyone, especially not a commoner or a servant. Not even for the princess of another kingdom. For basically no one. Oh, I, shit. I know it's shit. shit's getting real. Shit's getting yeah, real. Yeah, I had a drink there. I was <laughs> <laughs> Oh, take your time, take your time. Yeah, th this is getting good. <laughs> yes. So, Finally. Yeah. <laughs> so why would he kneel down for her if he didn't love her? A small s a smile crawled onto the blue-haired female as she nodded to herself slightly. I love you too, your highness. I feel honored by your feelings towards me. She kneeled down to him, hugging him. Fuck yeah, this is- I can imagine it! It's cute as shit. <laughs> His arms wrapped around her again. Please look at me for a second, Jabungrius. He gently- I feel stu- This is stupid now that we gave her such a stupid name for something that's so good. <laughs> <laughs> that's what makes it funny. Yeah. <laughs> just breaking this, like, <laughs> good writing with a shitty character name. <laughs> <laughs> he gently spoke, his hands softly caressing her back. Pulling back, the servant looked at the prince, tilting her head to the side. I definitely made the right choice. My siblings probably envy me for having such a beautiful wife. Holy shit! <laughs> How many have I run? Oh, sh I'm trying to. Okay, okay, I need one more. Okay. <laughs> Your Highness, aren't you thinking a bit high of me? She blushed slightly, which didn't get as any better as he laughed slightly. <laughs> <laughs> thinking too highly of you? No, I don't think so. Leaning forward, his breath began to hit her lips. His hands grabbed her waist. <laughs> Your Highness! Her voice mumbled as their faces inched closer to each other, eager to feel each other's warmth. For once, I'm asking you to keep quiet for a few minutes, even though I love the sound of your beautiful voice. <laughs> he closed the space between the two of them. This time, Jabangrius put all her concentration to the feeling of his lips against hers. They were warm and soft, seemingly fitting her own perfectly. <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> Byakia pulled his fiance closer to him, slowly beginning to close his eyes, his shoulders relaxed, slumping down. It was weird what love was doing to them. He never felt comfortable like this. His heart began to beat faster when her hands carefully made their way into his hair, playing with the long, blonde strands slightly. His hair is really soft. I almost feel guilty for messing with it right now. This is so cute. Need, I love this. Need, need, <laughs> I mean... Suddenly, though, <laughs> the prince pulled away again. His face was a light shade of red. His glasses <laughs> almost falling off his face as he looked down for a second. Damn. <laughs> this is so cool! <laughs> oh my god, where the, where the fuck did I Oh, yeah, here it is. Chibungus reached out quietly, pulling, pulling said object from his face and setting it on the coffee table. Should we... Raising her head once he spoke. We should what, your highness? He he took her hand, standing up, pulling pulling her up with him. We should move this so we're more warm and comfortable. The future <laughs> queen shouldn't be kissing her future husband on the cold, hard, dirty floor. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> For real. Even though the floor is almost shining, he's right about the other two aspects. Wasn't her was her only thought as she nodded to him, smiling almost shyly. Y you're right, your highness. The floor isn't a suitable place for the future king, either. 
<laughs> but what she didn't expect was for him to grab and pull her into the bed! <laughs> what are the 17 comments? Whoa, 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 <laughs> Just Let's a bunch of, bunch of woes. <laughs> Should we wait till marriage? My gosh! D don't worry, y'all. They're just cuddling with a bunch of angels. <laughs> <laughs> are we actually? Are we gonna? Is this? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is entirely safe for work. Yeah. But I'm, in the case that it isn't. Yeah. Oh whoa. Well, I I think we read enough chapters for today. Well, how, how many chapters is, are there, left? There are eight. There are eighteen. I oh think. my! We can so finish this today. More. Yeah. Let's, let's, yeah, let's, let's finish let's, this today. Okay. <laughs> roll this. Yep. <clears throat> Jabongrius slowly opened her eyes, yawning as she looked at the seemingly sleeping prince toward her. Next, I've never slept this well before, she thought, turning to her side and laying her head on Biakia's chest. You're awake already? The servant asked when two sneaked arms around her waist. Yes, but I didn't want to wake you up, so I just laid back, closed my eyes for a little bit, did you sleep well, my lady? Her cheeks flushed. A light red from how he addressed her. What did you call me, your highness? I called you my lady. Would you rather have me call you a servant again? Quickly shaking her head. She just closed her eyes again. No, I was just surprised, that's all. Shouldn't we get up soon? Shrugging. The blonde helped her close to him. Looking down at his fiance, maybe we should. <laughs> so did, they banged, right? Did, I was about to ask that. I'm like, so they did they? <laughs> yeah, they 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 they. they, 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 they Man, they didn't I even mean, write that in. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> One star. It, it leaves you. It leaves you wondering. It leaves you wondering. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it real does. I I don't think. I don't think Biaki is a type to, to do that, right? <laughs> like, right, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> Even though he said that, his arms held her down as, as soon as she tried to get up. That doesn't mean that I want you to get up yet, was all he said before completely pulling her down again. But your highness, don't you have work to do? Yes, but that can wait later. Now shut up and let it's uh, that. <laughs> <laughs> that's that. That's our Biakia. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's his favorite line, is just, shut up. <laughs> shut up and let me enjoy this. Yeah. For once in my life, let me let me have something that I can uh, calmly enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> now shut reading, up and... reading tea and looking at uh, purple hair, pur pur uh, blue hair, purple eyes. Yeah. <laughs> now shut up and let me enjoy this moment a bit longer. He mumbled... Burying his face into her cheek, a oh, neck. Sorry, <laughs> see, as he let out a soft sigh. I guess being the son of such an important family can be really stressful. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> Jabangria smiled to herself. His warmth and his presence in general was comforting and calming to her. If only that moment would have lasted forever. In the end, Prince had to get up when he realized how late it had gotten, even if he didn't want to. While he got dressed for the day, the purple-haired blue, blue, <laughs> the blue. blue she has blue female. hair and pronouns, dude. <laughs> I, I, I keep forgetting it. I keep forgetting. How could I forget? That's what As Asuka would remind me. Of course, he had blue hair and pronouns. <laughs> huddled into, huddled back into the soft blanket, admiring his every move. I never thought I would be laying in Prince Biakia's bed after spending the night with him. Wink, wink. Oh. Not to mention being his wife, soon to be. You should get ready too, as soon as possible. We have to go to the royal seamstress so she can start you with your dress for the ball. The wedding dress, of course. She let out a small sigh, burying her face into the pillow. Of course, your highness. Give me a second. <laughs> she is giddy with sleep. excitement. Yeah, I would be too if I'm marrying a yeah, prince. I mean, <laughs> on God, yeah. Yeah. There, 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 there are four remaining on this chap, which is oh, okay. That's, a, that's an uneven amount, but uh, if you want to read those four, go right ahead. 
With a slight groan, she pulled herself up, standing up with another sigh. I will kind of miss that soft bed. Thinking to herself, quietly, the blue-haired servant began to get dressed, not noticing that the blonde prince was watching her every move with his icy blue eyes. <laughs> Last night kind of seems like a dream now. I can't believe that after that all that happened. We really did bang! <laughs> we did. <laughs> I don't regret a single thing, though. Her face flushed again. Instead of blushing and being flustered, I should do my best today to help Prince Biakia. Maybe his work could be done faster then. After <laughs> shit, where the f fuck is? Uh, after that, the, the f god damn it! I fucked up. After that, time flew by fast. <laughs> Take <laughs> your time. She, yeah, though she did have some difficulties with the dress, but sweetie, this dress would look so much better in uh, least favorite color. Uh, what's your least favorite color? Green. I feel like least green. Least favorite color. Well, uh, honestly, I, I don't really have a least favorite color. I love. I love every shade, but if I really had to pick one, maybe maybe gray. Yeah. It it it, it resembles devoidness. <laughs> it resembles not the, the the middle ground between black and white. Like yeah. it's just yeah, you know, it, it's kind of right there. But sweetie, this dress would look so much better in gray. Why would you want it in purple? The seamstress <laughs> wasn't a great help. <laughs> 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 Nor were the maids that were assisting here. You should make the dress more sparkly. Everyone would have their their eyes on Lady Jabungrius first. Sighing said servant. Said servant leaned her head back. Res fuck. Restrain. <laughs> How the fuck do you pronounce it? Res resisting. Okay. Yep, resisting the urge to just run out. I'm not sure if I like my new title. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're almost there. We're almost- we're almost to the end. Oh shit. My only friend, the could, end. <laughs> let's see what... the final chapter has in store for us. Yeah. Hopefully it's marriage and doing it. <laughs> <laughs> or, or- or- I mean, it's probably too little for the ball to go on, but you know. Are you nervous, my lady? Biakia asked while waiting outside on, of the room waiting for her patiently to put on the dress and accessories on. Yes, I'm really nervous about it. Well, like a coward between all these nobles and royals, she sighed, not really wanting to go to the ball anymore. My lady, I can assure you that you will be the most beautiful female in the room. Don't worry about it too much, just enjoy the evening. That is one of the least Biakia things I have ever heard. Yeah. Though, <laughs> blonde prince had to admit he was also nervous about proposing in front of so many people. Let's go then, your highness. Don't worry. I'm sure you will do a good job. With that, Shabankrius stepped out, and in that moment, Biakia forgot to breathe for a little bit. She looked absolutely stunning in her purple dress, prettier than any princess that he had ever seen before. Gently sending mm. her hand... <laughs> Fucking, mm, that just really caught me off guard. <laughs> <laughs> Gently setting her hand on his arm, she smiled at him and they began to walk towards the ballroom. My lady, I just want to tell you this again. I'm marrying for the title, but mostly because I love you. Thank you for accepting my proposal, Chabungrius. <laughs> so wait, he's already proposed. Why does he have to propose again in front of people? <laughs> I, I mean, I guess... To make it like official, you know, just just like, so everyone else can see the glory that is Biakia and his lovely lass. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's probably like a royal kind of thing. Yeah. Before the female had any time to react to what he had said, the doors to the ballroom opened to their arrival. Got announced. We welcome Prince Biakia Tagami and Lady Jabungria's Goldsmith. <laughs> <laughs> All eyes immediately turned towards them. People were shocked. Who knew a mere peasant could be prettier than most of them, most of them nobles? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, we we, <laughs> good, we fit with that purple talk, dress. Talk, of, <laughs> like, talk of the town. Yeah. Talk of the town. <laughs> Everyone is staring at us, your highness. Chabungrius whispered to her fiancé, who just smirked slightly. It's probably jealousy. After all, a commoner is outshining the royals. Don't be nervous. Just enjoy this evening and don't leave my side, my lady. 
Yes, a gentleman. <laughs> Ooh, and it's about to work. The, the Riz, his words actually calmed her down a little bit as she slowly nodded. Slowly, the room's atmosphere returned to normal again. First hour passed by pretty slowly. They spent most of the night with drinking the finest wine and talking to the most important people. This is really boring. It was all Jabarius thought. How, how you have top shelf liquor and wine. But then the first slow dance began and the purple haired, blue haired female got pulled towards the dance floor. Your Highness, I don't want to seem impatient, but do you know what one exactly will propose today? The blonde prince smiled, not bothering to give her a proper answer. The music was beautiful and soothing, creating just the right atmosphere for a proposal, or a wedding itself. To be honest, my lady, Prince began looking into her eyes while holding her hand and waist. No one is even allowed to propose at the ball itself. Wait, what? Wow, he's gonna break the rules for this shit! <laughs> oh no! Man, you're gonna get killed. <laughs> Execution, both of you, now! Yeah. <laughs> Her eyes widen in shock. What did you just say? What do you mean that no one's allowed to propose at the ball? She kept her voice low, but not to draw any attention towards them. Well, this ball is more for looks. The king and queen want to see how well the couples fit together. How weird. The Jabungarius mumbled, looking up at her fiancé before leaning her forehead against his chest as the dance began to come to an end. Then why are you planning to repose at the ball itself? What if everything goes wrong and you lose your chance to become king? Biaki had chuckled. Oh, please. My parents favor me <laughs> over everything else. It doesn't matter if it's forbidden now. I will change everything and create the perfect moment for just the two of us. His icy blue eyes stared into her purple ones. I promise. So, I just realized I'm a liar, and there is a next part. There is one more chapter, I believe. Yeah. Yep. Let's go. So, let's, let's do it. Let's let's finish it up. Let's wrap. It. Let's put a bow on this. Put yeah. a bow on this. Thank you all for attending this event tonight. The king spoke with a loud voice, quickly pulling all the attention towards him. As some of you may know, tonight is a very special night. Surely you noticed that all of our royals attended with a partner. Tonight is the most important night of their lives. He paused, some tension growing between the siblings, of course. They all knew what would happen tonight. Tonight, the king and queen would silently make the decision on who would succeed the throne to become the king and the queen. And they couldn't really do anything to influence that. I mean, especially not in the moment, I mean, shit. Yeah. You can be like, can we get a recount? <laughs> um, uh, just remember that, uh, that I, I brought home cookies at one time, <laughs> and, and they didn't. Yeah. Uh, when was the last time Biakia ever told you that he loved you? Just saying, Dad. Just saying. <laughs> Your Highness? Aren't you worried about their decision? I know you're their favorite child, but what if they change their mind? Jabangrius seemed rather concerned as she glanced up at her fiancé, who was just as calm as always. No, I know they've already made their decision. Alright. Her <laughs> purple eyes widened, turning towards the king and queen. We've already made our decision. Oh, shit. They've already made their decision. Are you sure about that? He nodded, mo motioning her to stop whispering as the king began to talk again. Unfortunately, I have bad news for almost all of my children. <laughs> he let out. I thought that was about to be like, I'm actually not giving up the throne. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the room immediately went quiet as some people whispered amongst themselves. Most of Prince Biakia's siblings looked absolutely horrified right now. I guess that's understandable. After all, the king said almost all of his children. Her attention turned to the blonde prince beside her. He almost seems smug. <laughs> My queen and me will not be able to rule this kingdom much longer. <laughs> My queen and me. It's my queen and I! Yeah. Proper English! Use it! It's fine. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> it's Wattpad. Sp 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 spurging out for a moment there. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why we've already decided of who will replace us. It 
it's our probably most com oh, how the fuck do you pronounce that? Compen competent. Most, yeah, most competent error. <laughs> Man, wow, I can't believe you just told all your other children that they're incompetent. <laughs> <laughs> But for now, it's probably our most competent hair. <laughs> <laughs> but for now, please enjoy the ball until we make our important announcement. And yes, we will announce our decision. As soon as he looked at the orchestra, they began to play again. Some people began to dance again, while others were still discussing what the king had just said. Probably hit hard that their king and queen would be replaced this suddenly. The blue haired servant, on the other hand, couldn't help but be stunned. How could Byaki have known this? Her eyes wandered off to said prince, as if he didn't just predict the future. He sipped on his glass, looking back at her with a questioning look, though he knew exactly what she wanted to ask. The truth is, Byaki and your mother, I haven't, and ha <clears throat> Byakia, your mother and I haven't been feeling well. The blonde was quite surprised. His parents seemed just fine to him. Is that why you called me here? That is all. I will take my leave again. Yes. You can go, future king of our emperor. It's, it's, it's about to happen. A new, new era of reign for the uh, Togami family. Yeah, let's go! <laughs> Your father just made you their future heir without anything else? It seems like you already... That you are really are the most competent one out of your children, she mumbled, not noticing that the kid stood up again while he saw his son getting onto one knee. It was time for the most important- Right now?! <laughs> Let's go. He's gonna do this shit while the king is like, I'm gonna pass this on to the- What the hell are you doing? <laughs> like that. <laughs> it seems like our heir wants to skip the long way and get right to it. Gently Byakuya took uh, Chibungarisa's hand. I can't blame him. After all, this officially makes him my heir for the throne. His icy eyes met her purple ones. Please be my queen, Chibungrius, a uh, goldsmith. May I present you, uh, King Byakia and Queen Chibungrius. Applause filled the room as his lips met her hands and then her own. I promise I I will not only be the your king forever, but I also treat you like a queen. My queen. The end. Let's go! <laughs> I got this. Hold up. I got this. I will make proper use of the uh, soundboard. Oh, I forgot the oh, was that a soundboard of some people clapping? Yep. Uh, how do I even pull up the soundboard? Is it under? Uh, bottom left. There's turn on camera, share your screen, start an activity oh, I see soundboard. It. Uh, I don't think I can play any of these from the, a certain server. Uh, <laughs> well, well, no, you can't play any uh, if you don't have Nitro, which I oh, do not, unfortunately. But I uh, do have Nitro. These, these uh, default sounds, though. Wait, there's default sounds? Yeah. Wait, where's golf clap? <laughs> Yay! That's what we're doing, yes. Congrats. <laughs> Congratulations. We we married we married into royalty. Yes, we are royal after, now, bitches. After all this time. Look at us. All we all we could dream of. We are we are balling out here right now. We're rich. We got a lovely husband. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> the most, the most non biakia lines ever. Yeah. But it was beautiful. Absolutely was. He was very in character I mean, for the verse part. I mean, and then... yeah, yeah, he was very in character, but, you know, it, it's hard to write, it's hard to write Byakia loving anyone but yeah. himself. Yeah. <laughs> Extremely hard. So, you know what? Props to the writer. Props yeah. to the writer for wanting to make that shit happen. Yeah, this was uh, absolutely good to read. Holy shit. <laughs> It was it was a fun little read. I'm glad glad we got to uh, glad we got to do it. Yeah, I'm glad we got to finish it. I didn't realize that we ran so long with this recording. I, I, I mean, yeah, I mean, we 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 buckled we buckled our fuckle, one might say, and uh, just finished it. Yeah, no, would, worth would it. Would love to do this again some other time. 
Yeah, absolutely. We got more Danganronpa stuff. We got other shit. I can introduce you to One Piece and, and the beautiful <laughs> ship that is Zosan. <laughs> Maybe you will. I don't know shit about One Piece, but it would be it would be quite humorous. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> You'll I, I could, fit I right could in. Walk, could walk right into it not knowing anything about it and be like, yeah. Uh, I may have watched seven episodes when I was in middle school, but... Uh, here I am reading about shit I don't know, and I, you know what? It's gonna be ballin'. It's gonna be ballin'. I'm yeah, sure. I'm it's sure. Gonna be definitely sure, but... ballin'. Well, uh, if you would like to read this book uh, about Bianca being a royal, uh, you, you can read it. Uh, I'll have a link down below in the description. Uh, please support the author. They're actually like really, like really good. I don't know if that. Helps. Yeah, yeah. They. Uh, this, this, despite, despite, uh, you know, me poking fun at other, other things. You know, they did a great job. You know, I I, I I like to I like to nag about grammar and everything, but they 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 did a fun they did a fun story there. I like what they did. Yeah, I don't know if they have any other books, but definitely go read those. They're probably as as good as the Bathium one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, anyway, my name is Phoenix. This is Philip, and I guess we'll see you guys next time for another Wattpad reading. <laughs> see you, Beast Modes. Bye bye.